head to Dollar Tree and pick up wood blocks, two wood trays, two larger frames, and two 5x7 frames. Take four wood blocks and hot glue them to the underside of one of the frames. Paint both frames. Take two wood trays and paint them white. Once dry, add a border of gold washi tape to the top. Next, take wood skewers and cut them to size. Hot glue them to each side of the underside of the frames. Hot glue two large gold metal rings to the side of the frames on parallel sides. Glue the second frame to the top side of the rings. Cut down paint stir sticks to fit the interior part of the frame and cover them with gold washi tape. Unwrap the 5 by 7 frames, remove the glass, and place the glass on both levels. The next time you're at Dollar Tree, make sure you head to their frame section and grab some of these gold frames. I'm then going to come in with some wire cutters and I'm going to pull out the black tabs that keep the backing on. Then I'm going to take out the glass and I'm going to come with some E6000 and I'm going to glue the glass inside the frame. Then I'm going to come and take eight of the frames and I'm going to glue two of them together. And then I'm going to clamp them together and I'm going to let this set overnight. I came back the next day, removed all my heavy objects that I placed on top, and then as well removed the clamps from all the frames. So I'm going to glue all the sides and then I'm going to just raise them up here and build a rectangular shape. So two frames on each end and then the two that are glued together for the sides. I'm going to let this set overnight again, making sure that the glue is really solid. And then I'm just going to come in and finish it up with a nice A-frame top with my remaining four frames. Head to Dollar Tree and pick up fabric, flip the frame on the back side of a piece of fabric, draw horizontal and vertical lines off the four corners of the frame. Create boxes the same depth of the frame from these marks. Next, cut a diagonal line on the corner, box, cut marks, and Mod Podge that fabric to the corners of the frames. Fold the fabric over on itself and then Mod Podge the rest of the fabric to wrap it around the exterior of the frame. Draw and cut diagonal lines in the center of the frame. Then take that fabric to wrap the interior side of the frame with Mod Podge. Reassemble the frame and add your photo of choice. I grabbed two of these wood hangers. I'm pulling off the rope. I'm gonna cover the front of the wood piece with the shelf liner, and then I'm just gonna fold the edges over the sides. Grab four picture frames. These square ones work best. And then use a pliers to pull out the fasteners. Use some hot glue to attach two blocks to the bottom of the frame. Then glue the second frame to the other side of the blocks. You're gonna do this twice with a total of four frames. Now we have all the pieces to assemble our shelf. Take a bowl and cover the bottom in plastic wrap. Next, use a sponge brush and Mod Podge. Cover the entire bowl base with Mod Podge on the plastic wrap. Take rope and begin from the center of the base and wind it around towards the outer part of the bowl. Once completely dry, remove rope layer from the bowl and any excess plastic wrap. To begin, I'm taking my three wooden circles and painting them with chalkboard paint. I'm using two floating shelves from Dollar Tree. I'm using white paint from DecoArt. I found three wooden crates at Dollar Tree and I'm going to be painting them. Once everything that has been painted is dry, it's time to put it all together. I'm using E6000 glue. Once my circles are cut to size, I'm using a pencil to cover a majority of the back of the template. I'm using my pencil to trace the font I chose on the front side of the template. By doing this, it will apply the font template to the circle. I'm using a white paint marker to cover it. Head to Dollar Tree and pick up nine small wood crates and stain them with wood stain. Take three wood stir sticks and stain them as well. Next, glue the crates together with three in a row. Then stack and glue each row to the top of the first row. Cut the stir sticks to the right size and hot glue them to the front bottom of each row of the crates. Add four wood beads with hot glue to create a base. Then use a screwdriver to attach the drawer label holders to the stir sticks. Head to Dollar Tree and pick up four small wood crates, two small floating shelves. Take the white paint for all four crates. Assemble two crates together with hot glue and then attach the second shelf upside down with more hot glue. Take fairy lights and weave it through the holes of the wood crates. Attach the second level of the combined wood crates and do the same thing with the fairy lights. To cover up the seams, take rhinestone ribbon and glue into place. Take craft mirror tiles, cut them to size, hot glue into place, and then remove the protective cover. Pick up one garden border from your local Dollar Tree. Cut the spike bases off. Add small black zip ties to attach the wreath form to the border fence. 
Wrap the border fence with small twinkle lights all the way around. Add greenery of choice around the top of the border fence with hot glue. Next time you're at Dollar Tree, scoop up some of the white wire baskets and grab yourself a paper towel holder. Then I'm going to take the paper towel holder and place it on the bottom and then cut out the wire basket just in the middle. You're going to slide it over top and then you're going to secure it in place with some zip ties at the bottom. You're next going to take your second wire basket and cut out the middle. You're going to place it on your paper towel holder and then you're going to place some zip ties around the paper towel holder to give it a little bit of a ledge to sit on. Then you're going to come in with some E6000 and then you can spray paint it your favorite color. I'm taking three hexagon decorative mirrors and four small glass candlesticks from Dollar Tree. Stack two candlesticks on top of one another. When the glue has dried, I'm taking some black acrylic craft paint, apply the paint all over each candlestick column. Once that column is attached to the base mirror, I'm adding glue to the top of the column before stacking another mirror on top of it in the center. While I'm taking my second candlestick column and my third mirror, I'm flipping the mirror face down and applying the glue to the column before placing it on the center of the back of the mirror. It's time to stack the third mirror onto the other two. Head to Dollar Tree and pick up plastic storage drawers, hot glue them together, and then attach each stack to each other from the side. Take wood cubes and hot glue them under the drawers. Take four mirrors and hot glue them to the sides and the top. Add beads. Take four more mirrors. Take paint stir sticks and hot glue them to the backs of the mirrors to attach them all together. And glue nautical rope to the edges. Add the mirrors to the upper portion of a paper towel holder and then place the holder back under the drawers. Head over to Dollar Tree and grab these hanging flower baskets. You'll also need a tomato cage. I stuck it into the ground and grabbed some black Rust-Oleum spray paint and spray painted the entire tomato cage, cut the bottom ends off. I placed the flower baskets onto the tomato cage. So we're gonna start with 12 of these really cute little crates from Dollar Tree. First, going to glue them together. So we are going to be using some wood stain. We are going to stain this as well. So we're gonna put this into a formation. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna flip it over and we are gonna put it on the center of our Lazy Susan. So we're gonna go ahead and load this up. Next time you're at the dollar store, grab a large wreath form, two small wreath forms, and one 3D wreath form. Assemble the 3D wreath form according to the instructions. Start to cut the wire rings from each other on the large wreath form and the two small wreath forms. Take the second to largest ring and place in the center of the wire globe. Take two of the second to smallest rings and attach them horizontally between the center ring and the bottom of the globe. Take the smallest rings and attach them horizontally to each end of the globe, securing with floral wire. Starting at the top of the globe, tie a piece of jute twine in a secure knot. Start to loop and weave the jute twine over and under. Once finished with one section, skip the section beside it and start to weave the jute in the next section in the same direction. Work your way up the globe and weave the jute in every other section. Once you have the horizontal sections complete, start to weave the alternate sections vertically. Take a light cord and attach it to the top of the globe with the bulb hanging in the center of the globe. Use a very low wattage bulb that does not get hot. 